So far this year, electric car sales have actually increased worldwide. The media would like to tell you otherwise, they'd like you to believe otherwise, but it's not true. These sales that I'm about to report here are for January and February worldwide, but EV sales actually grew and nearly doubled in the month of March. I'll report on that very soon. But the 10 best selling electric cars in the world so far this year were, well, you probably know some of them. No surprises here for guessing the Tesla Model Y was the best selling car, best selling EV in the world this year. I mean, it was the best selling car in the world last year, period, EV or not. So far this year, January and February, Tesla delivered 154,000 Model Ys. Of course, March, they had uh, a better month in March than what they had in the previous months, but they were affected a little bit by a few things. One, they're building right-hand drive production for the Model Y at the Gigafactory in Berlin in order to ship Model Ys from there to the UK and also to India. Maybe to other, maybe possibly to other right-hand drive countries as well. And in addition, the Gigafactory in Germany was sabotaged and it was out of action for a couple of weeks because there was no power. And there was no power to a lot of businesses. So that sabotage affected a lot of small businesses, a lot of companies. Uh, whoever did that, the eco-terrorists, whoever they are, eco-warriors, uh, IF Metal, maybe, unions, uh, other legacy automakers, who knows? Number one Model Y. Number two was the Tesla Model 3. 73,534 Tesla Model 3s were delivered in the first two months of the year. The third best-selling car in the world was the BYD Seagull, which will be called the Dolphin Mini in Europe or other countries. And I have no idea why BYD have decided to call it the Dolphin Mini. Uh, it doesn't look like the Dolphin. It looks like a completely different car. And it is. It's the Seagull. But anyhow, that was BYD's best-selling electric car for the first two months of the year. 42,693 deliveries. Second place was the BYD Addo 3, known as the Yen Plus in China, 37,800. Next was the BYD Dolphin, the third best selling BYD, 35,920. Then next was the Ruling Hongwan Mini EV. So the, cheap, the super cheap uh, micro, it's actually a quadricycle technically, very, very small EV, very affordable. You can get these at around a starting price of 6,000 US dollars. So they're a lot cheaper than a BYD Seagull, which is not much bigger. Interesting to think about that. General Motors, by the way, make that car in a tri-venture with uh, Wheeling and with and with Sake. So Sake, basically um, Shanghai Chinese government owned. There's a tri-venture between Wheeling, General Motors and the Chinese government. Next is the Chang'an Lumen, which is a direct competitor, I think a much better car than the Wuling Hongwan Mini EV, more modern looking, more uh, less boxy looking. I think it's quite a, a cute little EV. Personal personal favorite for me. I've made a few videos on that but on that car. I'll put some links in the description. Chang'an Lumen had 19,892 deliveries, followed by the Wuling Bingo, which is uh, bigger. It's Wuling Bingo is actually is more of a similar size to the BYD Seagull. Next was the Volkswagen ID4. Now the ID4, the reason it's ranked this high, only 18,000 deliveries, but the reason it's ranked ranked this high is because, well, China goes to sleep in February. So a lot of these Chinese sales here, the numbers are down significantly. A lot of these doubled the following month of March, in March. So when we release that report, you'll see huge increases in sales of all these models, these Chinese branded models, Volkswagen, of course, yeah, you know, ID4 deliveries, 18,000, pretty similar to what they're, where they were at last year. The Geely Panda Mini was next, followed by the Volkswagen ID3, the GAC Aon Y, and then the GAC Aon S. So GAC's Aon vehicles still selling really well. 16,000 for the Aon Y, 15,000 for the Aon S, and Aon is a, a company really going places. Last year, they were selling around 50,000 electric cars every month. Unfortunately, they're not, they're not an EV-only company. They're owned by GAC, the parent company. The GAC, they manufacture internal combustion cars, hybrids, EVs, all kinds of things. Primarily, though, they actually make more internal combustion than EVs, which is unfortunate because otherwise it'd be a great company to invest in. Aon is a, a subsidiary of GAC. Now, speaking about global EV sales, 13% of all cars sold in the first two months of the year were fully electric. 
That number would be higher if this was, say, a, a big Chinese selling month. So any month in the second half of the year, that 13% would probably come closer to 16%. We're seeing so far, we saw for the month of March, 48% of all cars sold in China were either plug-in hybrids. So not hybrids, but plug-in hybrids, meaning they can operate as an EV. Uh, and they also, of course, can operate as a not EV. And EVs. If you add hybrids to that number, it's much, much bigger. But 48% of all cars sold in China were plug-in hybrids or EVs, meaning NEVs. NEVs had a 48% penetration rate in China, which is a historic record. BYD believes that China will hit 50% EV penetration by the end of this year. In fact, they say it'll happen earlier than that. I'm not sure if that's true, but uh, if anyone can make it happen, it's BYD. Guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. Bye-bye.